Hello and welcome to Goma at Home. It's nice to see you once again. And today, we're cooking something ito talagang Filipino favorite ito. Ang tawag dito is ginataang halo-halo. Yung iba naman, ginataang halo-halo with uh, bilo-bilo. But uh, in, in the Visayan region, what we do is we add tapioca. Ang tawag nila dito is landang. No? So we call it here binignit. What are the ingredients? Basic lang. Different kinds of kamote to give you um, different colors. And then we have, uh, of course, ube, saging saba, bilo-bilo, coconut cream. Okay, so what we'll do first, yung, uh, yung mga ano natin, yung uh, kamote and uh, ube, we'll cut them into chunks, no? Mas maganda kasi na putuloy mo sila into big pieces. Paano kasi when you begin boiling them, the tendency is uh, ma madurog sila. So, mas maganda, malaking uh, chunks pag putol mo, especially mga ube, kamote, yan. And then, while we're doing this, we're already boiling water. No? And then, ilagyan natin sa dito, sa mainit na tubig. And then, yung ube will give you a beautiful lavender color sa binignit mo. And then, we'll put in our, our uh, kamote. So, we have different kinds of uh, kamote. Iba-iba yung color niya. And, and all of these are available sa market. This is very easy to make. No? All you have to do is just dump it all in hot water. And then, we also have our uh, langka. So, here. Alam nyo ba sa Ormoc City, during the time of uh, President Fidel Ramos, they came out with uh, one product. Oh no, they came out with uh, one town, one product. No? So, one town, one produce. Ganong theme nila. And yung Ormoc City, ang uh, naging uh, one product namin dito at that time was Langka. That's why we became the Langka capital of Region 8. Kaya dito sa Ormoc City, kahit saan ka tumingin, ang dami daming Langka dito na available. And ito yung langka na isasama natin dun sa atong landang or binignit or ginataang halo-halo sa Tagalog. So just break it down. Just break it down. Huh? Okay. <laughs> Kaya lang. Sap ng flavor nito. Hmm? Tsaka, ang bango-bango. So when you cook this with, um, with the landang or binignit, you can just imagine the, the bouquet of your food, no? With the... Um, with langka. So all of this, we'll just put it here. So now that some of our ingredients are uh, in our boiling water, we'll prepare naman our saba, no? Mas masarap yung ano, saging na saba na, hinug na. And then I'll, I'll uh, cut into big pieces para pagluto niya, hindi siya madudurog. So one saba, I'll cut it into to three pieces, you know, medyo chunky siya. When your uh, landang is chunky, it would be nice to have a big bowl, you know, para pag-serve niya. Kasi nga, malaki yung ingredients mo. Maganda rin na sa malaking uh, bowl. We'll put this in our mixture. At alam nyo ba yung, yung key para hindi madurog yung ano mo? yung uh, saging mo na sa ba na hinog is that lagyan mo na kagad siya ng sugar kasi with the sugar tumitigas yung texture ng ano tumitigas yung texture ng uh, ng banana uh, okay and then we'll put our sugar like what I said depende sa taste mo yan kung anong gusto mo gusto mo ng uh, matamis hindi masyadong matamis it's really all up to you Let, let's put some sugar here Let's put about, it should be about six tablesp eight tablespoons. Yeah, there. About half a cup, half a cup of sugar for this one. Should be good enough. And then, i-ready na natin yung, yung uh, kakanggata. Yung coconut cream natin. Okay, so let's, uh, let's mix this. So you can see the water. Like violet na yung color niya. And then we're mixing it para yung sugar mixture yan, magsagol sa saging. At this point, what we'll do, ilalagyan natin yung bilo-bilo. Bilo-bilo is made of uh, ground rice. no? Ground rice na malagkit. Sa Bisaya, pilit nga bugas. Igaling lang. And then just drop it here like that. Yan. Pag maluto siya, bilog-bilog na siya ganyan. Yan. 
put in lots of this. Sapton texture nito, parang it's like mochi. This is what they also use to make uh, palitao. How do they make palitao? Alam niyo para gumawa ng palitao? Parang ganun, parang bilo-bilo din 'yan. What they do sa palitao naman. So, kasama lang na ganito. They make it into a ball. A ball like this, pero fina-flatten nila na ganyan. Yeah, fina-flatten nila yung yung uh, malakit and then yan yan. Yan ilalagay nila sa boiling water. No? Pag lumitaw na sa, that means luto na yung palitaw natin. Kaya nga palitaw ang tawag doon. Kasi pag lumitaw, luto na si palitaw. With our boiling mixture, you can smell already oh, yung yung bango ng ano, yung bango ng uh, langka. Sarap. And then, so we'll put in our landang, our tapioca. This will give a good texture sa sa binignit na to. There you go. We'll put in about 4 or 5 tablespoons of this. Okay. And then, put in our fennel seeds. Bango. My God, it's so good. So what we'll do now, we'll, we'll put some uh, uh, pandan leaves. Yan. Just to give it a different, uh, another additional scent, flavor niya rin. And then, isagulan natin siya. Ayan. Eksakto na. Oh. Once it's boiling, ilalagay na natin yung coconut cream natin. Beautiful. I'm uh, leaving some para mamaya, pag serve natin, ito rin lalagyan natin sa ibabaw. And from here on, we just let it boil until mag-thicken up yung uh, yung uh, pinaka pinaka soup niya. So leave it there for about about 25 minutes and then this should be ready to be served. Check on this. You know, makita mo, malapot na malapot na talaga. Wow, see how rich and how thick our binignit is. Ang landang na to. We'll check our tapioca we'll check our banana kung okay na banana is good and soft okay tapioca hmm sarap ah very good now let's plate this Ooh, you see all of that see the colors see the texture we'll take out the And then, ooh, ooh, ooh. I want bananas. And then, final touches. Let's put some coconut milk. Just like that. So here is our binignit or landang sa Tagalog ginataang halo-halo Now let's try this Woo, hot Let's try it with the kamote mm. the, the, the fennel seeds sap ng flavor niya combined with um, with um, pandan and the langka Just get the meat away And then, saging. Sap na flavor. I remember, itong landang, binignit or ginatang halo-halo, ako magtatanong sa inyo, how come this is so popular during Holy Week? No? Pag Holy Week, especially dito sa Ormok, most of the people, nasa lay andam na binignit. In Manila, they give this away to people sa mga neighbors nila pag Holy Thursday. I really don't know the the meaning of that. So, please give me a comment on this, okay? So, let's finish this. And I'd like to, again, thank you for joining me in this wonderful episode right here in Goma at Home. If you have the recipe, try this in your own kitchen. Give me a comment, like my page, and subscribe to Goma at Home and YouTube channel. Huwag niyo kalimutan, ha? Yung notification bell para every week may kita niyo pag nagda-download kami ng bagong episode. Okay? Thank you so much. Have a nice day. Enjoy your week. Bye! Mm. Init! 
Oh, ça va? Oh.